Good morning, everyone. As I said here on Sunday morning, the day after the holiday, lukewarm coffee, timer starting at seven minutes, my newest, latest skinny book of 46 pages, and I'm turning to Hebrews, the 10th chapter, teacher, rabbi, spirit teacher, why my existence, given a gift at 30 years old, to see the written scriptures that I could barely read at 30 years old. I read well now. But to see it, see the scriptures spiritually. All life matters. All blood matters, whether animal blood or human blood. Then there's the precious shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, an innocent man. But the blood had its job. Where we make mistakes is the mixture of the old first with the new second. God has levels of spiritual understanding, part one, part two, part three, part four, that could affect our world. But when you ascend, ascend, ascend into his realm, his spiritual heavenly kingdom, you go beyond part four into part five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Point being, there could be ten parts or levels or steps in the plan of God. Where we get in trouble as humans on earth is mixing the old. Let me read you a scripture. I mean, what do you do with this scripture in Hebrews at the very last scripture, 813 in Hebrews, if you're following along in your Bibles. You have to read before and after in text and study the whole book. And the what's coming to me right now is the veil, the flesh, going beyond the veil, beyond the flesh. Remember that, beyond the veil, beyond the flesh. What did the veil rep represent? And when you go beyond the veil into the holiest of holies, you must be washed clean. If the high priest had sin in his life, why the bells on the bottom of his garment? Well, they could hear him moving around, doing what he was supposed to do. If the bells stopped, they tugged on the rope on his ankle and pulled him out of the holiest of holies because he was dead because he went in unclean. In Judaism, there were brothers waiting outside the door. And if you looked like you had heavy worry on you or problems where you couldn't worship God in cleanness, a brother would pull you off to the side and say, I will go in for you today and pray in your place. Because your spirit and heart and mind was troubled and not clean. I don't know why I ran in that direction, but back to rabbi, which means teacher, spirit teacher, that I am. God's servant, spirit teacher. Back to Hebrews 8.13. In that he saith, who's the he here? God, Lord God, Yah, Yavah, Yahovah, uh, Yahushua, Yahshua. Lord Jesus, title name, in that he saith a new covenant, the new covenant is the second covenant, the New Testament covenant, testament and covenant, same thing, the new, part two, all right, the new covenant, he saith, God made the first old now that which is decaying and waxing old is ready to vanish away. The problem is, is humanity 
Gnostic mixture Christianity mixes the old and the new. Not trying to do away with the old. It's just they don't understand the new. And they sing about, they sing songs repetitiously in church. The blood will never lose its power. Power in the blood, false doctrine. The blood had a job and it did it. It dealt with sin. After that, access and entrance is being washed clean before you enter by the Holy Spirit and you have access and entrance by the Holy Spirit. The blood is behind you. You must go through and beyond the precious shed blood and what it did dealt with sin in the spirit and enter in, but you must be washed, renewed and regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Back to Hebrews again, the 10th chapter. This is neat because it's in fives and tens. 10th chapter, 5th verse. 10th chapter, 10th verse. 10th chapter, 20th verse. And it's body, body, flesh, body. I added body the third time. A body. Now, what about the body? But a body thou hast prepared for me. Down in 10, 10, 10 of Hebrews. An offering of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ once for all. Done. Once. Only once. Not yearly. Not again. Once for all forever. A body's offered here. And it's a true witness. 10.5, 10.10 I just spoke of. Third time now, flesh is mentioned. But flesh is the body. My body is flesh. All right? 20. And a new, I add second, and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh body. Seven minutes, we're doing okay. The veil, his flesh body. And having an high priest that went in, okay, with his blood. What was done with the blood? In the old. The first. Waxing old, vanishing away. What was done with the animal blood? It was touched on all four corners of the mercy seat and sprinkled on the ground before the mercy seat. And what happened when they pierced his side? Water and blood came out on the ground before the cross, before him, our mercy seat. Hmm. Okay. Verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart mind or a true truth heart mind. True truth heart, mind, and full assurance of faith in, and faith in is here twice, having our heart minds, again, TW, truce, true witness, sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. The pure water, come and drink freely in Revelation, of the water of life, the pure water is the Holy Spirit water. I'm going to end with this. And this is washed. Titus 3, 5. You're washed, renewed, regenerated by the Holy Spirit. And you have entrance and access, if you're clean, by the Holy Spirit. Ephesians, is it 2.18? I believe it is. 2.18 or 3.18. I believe it's 2.18. And access is in the Bible three times for major doctrine. Back to this. A Jewish lady explained her witness and testimony on YouTube. I broke into tears because she said when she confessed Messiah, Yahushua, the Lord Jesus Christ, as her Messiah, she said her body tingled all over and the Holy Spirit filled her up. And she said she could feel it on the outside, the inside, her whole body was tingling. And I don't make a big deal about this, 
But that's how it happened to me, this Gentile. I was on my knees for a long time. Could have been 30 minutes. And I thought my legs were falling asleep. But I tingled to the waist, both legs, up my back to my neck and over the top of my head. I was tingling and I jumped up and I was laughing and crying and jumping up and down like a pogo stick. Like I said, I'd never get the baptism. And that's the way I got it. And every time I opened my mouth to praise God, it was baby talk. It was mumbling. Anything but English. I tried to speak English words, and I couldn't. I was mumbling. I got Hikamo Shundai. I got the baptism tingling of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And I've been self-energizing speaking in tongues, Hikamo Shundai, for the past 48 years. Love ya. Washed clean by the Holy Spirit. Access entrance by the Spirit. The blood did its job, dealt with sin. You must go through and beyond the blood, through and beyond the cross, through and beyond the grave to ascend, ascend, ascend above in the heavenly spiritual realm where we have an inheritance, joint heirs of a heavenly kingdom immortality dwelling in the light, eternal life, a promise from God. And he fulfills all his promises and cannot lie. I love you.